Hey guys, it's Jesus from Low Code, and today I wanted to show you a pretty cool app that we built. Uh, it's a app that allows you to track prices from different retailers and helps you buy in the cheapest place your favorite items. So, as usual, users log in with their email, and then they end up here in the sign up screen. We have a welcome text, their logo, and then users have to fill out their name and their details. We are keeping track on the back end. The goal of this MVP is to keep track of users. Uh, preferences. So users are adding their favorite brands, their favorite retailers, and then so as soon as they fill out the profile, they can end up here, right? So right now we have some placeholder information. Eventually we'll have uh, tens of thousands of items and stores in the app. So right now you can see the stores in your area, and then you can see the details for that store, add them to the favorites, uh, pretty simple setup, right? We also have a list of products and then you can add products to your list. So the goal of this app is to create lists, uh, like your shopping lists, right? So we can click here, and since I don't have a list yet, I can create my first list. So let's say these will be my weekly groceries. And then we have a generic description, it doesn't matter. And then I can add this list. So I did two things with a compound action in Glide. I did a couple things. I created a list and added an item to my list, that item, the, the uh, ice cream that I was looking at. So here are the details for my list. You can see that we created in some pretty nice layout icons here. So my weekly groceries, I right now have just one item. And I can either from the list and go back to the products tab, keep adding items to my list. Uh, so I can add the Vaseline. Now, now that I have a list and I'm in the list view, just by clicking the item, I am adding the item to the list. Now it's a different setup if I'm in the product step. If I'm in the product step, I click on an item. Let's click um, here the pasta. It'll ask me to choose a list, right? So right now I only have one list. I can create another list from here. So secondary list, and then I add I, that item to my other list. So if I go here to my list step, I have my weekly groceries and my other list. And I can keep on adding. So let's go to the weekly and then add more items to this list. So I can just click things and I'll add those items to my list. Simple as that. We have the search bar, the filter. So you filter by category, search by price. Uh, pretty simple. Now, the cool thing about this app is that when you go back to your list, we tell you where should you buy the items that you have in your list. So the total price for this list is 28.30 based on the choices and the stores that I have. Now, if I shop in a different retailer, then I'll save 9%. So my price will go from 28 to 25. Uh, so I can see here that this item that I chose is cheaper somewhere else, right? So I chose this item for uh, cost, at Costco, right? And it's $4.99, but I can see here that the three Walmarts have this item at $3.97. So I would just choose the Walmart that's nearest to me. And just by clicking it, I just replaced that same item from a different store. Now, if I go back, I now my price for this list is 27 and I can keep on doing that. So in this case, these cheddar, I had chose already the best deal. And for all the other items that I have, and actually for the deli, right? For these three items that I have in my list, I could choose a cheaper option. Same item, different store. So let's go see the, the bacon here. And then my price at Walmart is 268 and the metro stores have it at 250. So again, I choose my nearest option and then I replace those items in my in my grocery list. So I end up in my grocery list with the cheapest items from my nearby stores. So we also have a flyers tab. In this case, we don't have any because users are creating or uploading the flyers. They take a picture at the store, they choose the store for that flyer, the description and the expiration date. And then I can see a list of flyers that anybody has uploaded. Actually, admin is approving the flyers before they end up here. And then we have the FAQs, so generic information. So I'll show you now how the admin tab looks. 
uh, let's preview as an admin. So an admin, the first thing that you can see is that the plus button shows up here in the FAQs. So an admin can create a new FAQ. So tile, description, and they can add a video so that, for example, this first FAQ, tile, description, and we have an embedded video here. The users uh, can see how to install their app to their device. Uh, if I go to my admin tab, I have these three sections. I can manage users so I can see everybody that has signed into the app. I can look at their profile and I can also make them an admin. If I want to give that user access to this admin portal, I just click that little toggle that we have here and then CC the next time she logs in, she'll be able to log in to the admin section. We also have here the lists. So as an admin of the app, I want to see everybody's list because I want to start doing or creating uh, with the big data that we have on the back end trends in terms of what users are looking for, what they're adding to their lists. So as an admin, you can see a link to the user that created this list and then all the items they have in their list and the total price. And finally, we have down here the flyers. So we have both unapproved and approved. In this case, there aren't any flyers, but if a normal user adds a new flyer from the flyer stat, then it goes to the unapproved section, and then as an admin, I can approve it. However, as an admin, I can upload a flyer, choose the start of the description, and then since I am logged in as an admin, that flyer will show up right away in the flyer stat. So we have conditional setup there so that if a normal user uploads a flyer, it requires the admin to approve it, but if the admin uploads a flyer, it shows up right over here. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool app. We've done over 210 apps at local agency. We are certified in Glide. We are Integromat partners, so we can help you automate your app and link it back to whatever other software you're using. Go to our website, local.agency, and set up a call. We can help you build your app. Thank you for watching.